Hey everyone and welcome back to Cowboy Survival. You know, today we're gonna do a quick video about camp cooking safety. And it's an alert I wanna to bring to your attention and it has to do with cooking food in the can. So a lot of times you'll get a can of beans, can of uh, ravioli, a can of spaghetti, a can of soup or whatever, and you're going to put it directly on the fire and cook it in the can. I mean, we eat it out of the can. Some people eat things cold, but sometimes we want to eat things that are heated up. Now, if you read the instructions really carefully, what it'll tell you is it's okay to cook stuff in the can if you take that can, set it into a pot of boiling water on top of another place. So it's sort of, sort of a double boiler kind of approach. You don't set the fire directly on it. So if you set this down in a pot of water with water around it and heat it up that way, that works. But it doesn't work to heat this up directly in the fire. Now the reason for that is the way these cans are made. So this is a steel can and these cans, once they're made, uh, they can have a lot of things in them, uh, particularly things that are acidic like like tomatoes for tomato sauce or or you know in tomato soup or something and the stuff that's in the food that's in the can can actually be corrosive to the metal it can actually react with the metal and it can cause the can to corrode and it reduces the shelf life of whatever's in the can so what the manufacturers do is they put a lining on the inside of this can i don't know if you can see it it's kind of goldish in this case case, but that lining is a very, very micro thin layer of an epoxy based resin or epoxy based plastic that goes on the inside of this can. Now, as long as food is just stored in the can and it's not heated up, there's no problem. There's not going to be any chemical leaching from the lining of this can into the food. Now, it's also important to understand that what they use for this lining generally would be considered toxic. It's okay for that stuff to touch the food as long as the food is in a cool, shelf-stable form because it's not going to interact. The heat's not going to cause any, any corrosion, any breakdown of the material. But once you heat this can up directly in the fire, that lining is going to start to break down. And when it breaks down, toxins are going to be released into your food. These toxins are bad for your body. Would it hurt you to eat it once? Probably not. Um, but it's not a good idea to, to do that on a regular basis. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do, do a demonstration. I've cleaned this can thoroughly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water in it and we're going to boil this water on uh, my, my camp stove and we're going to see that there's a light scum that'll show up on the top of that water. And that top of the water is actually that scum is actually some of the chemicals from this lining on this thing that's leaching into the water and you're going to be able to see it really well. It's hard to see it when you actually have food in the can. You can't see that that little scummy stuff that's on the top. Sometimes you can but usually you can't. It's you mistake it for maybe fat or something that's or else that's in the uh, can but I think you're going to see it and it's really going to be enlightening to you to the stuff the fact that there's there's leaching of chemicals into the food when you heat something like this up directly on a fire. So let's go demonstrate it. So what I'm going to do, I've got my can full of water, you can see, got water in that can, and I'm gonna put it on my camp stove, and first I'm gonna turn my camp stove on, then I'm gonna put that water on there, or we're gonna boil that, and when it's done boiling, you're going to see the scum that's on that. So let me so you can see that that water is clearly boiling. Matter of fact, it's about to boil over. I'll turn this down just a little bit. So that water is boiling vigorously at this point. I'm gonna let it boil for just a little while uh, to simulate the cooking or heating up of a can of soup or a can of chili or beans or something of that nature. And then we're gonna let it cool down and we're gonna take a look at what's left on the scum of that, on the, the surface of that water. So you can hear that burner going in the background. Normally you probably wouldn't cook your food this way, but some people do. They like to cook their food over a fire like this. They like to have the, um, just put the can right in the fire to heat up their beans or whatever, and they stir it with a spoon. The problem with that, as I said, is that there are unknown toxins leaking into that water, and hopefully we're going to be able to show you that on the camera. So the camera isn't picking it up very well, but there is a real slight film on the top of that water. That film is from some of the material from inside that can lining that is leached into the water. 
So while the camera's not picking it up, I can assure you that film is there. And what I would tell you is you have to be careful. You don't necessarily want to ingest that. Again, you might ingest a little bit of it once in a while. It's probably not going to hurt you. But if you ingest a lot of that, it could be pretty damaging over time, I would think. So my advice here is to not cook the food while it's still in the can. You can set the can into a pot of boiling water and, and warm it up that way, but I would not subject the can itself directly to the heat of a fire or a flame. That's gonna leach some of these harmful chemicals into your food. And when you're on the trail, you don't want being on the trail and having fun on the trail to ha have a long-term impact on your health. So, a little bit of caution, Make sure you stay safe on that trail. And remember what we always say, stay strong, stay prepared, and have a blessed day. We'll see you real soon right here on Cowboy Survival.